Hey folks, this is Mr. Curtis, and today we're going to be looking at line 132. If you are watching this on Monday, this is your introduction, you're learning how to do it, etc, etc. Make sure you are practicing this throughout the week because you will have a playing test on Friday over it. If you're watching this on Friday, good luck. Make sure you're going through, reviewing the material. Okay, so a couple things. One, we are in the key of G minor. I highly recommend going back through, look at line 129, remind yourself what the key of G minor looks and feels like, where your fingers go. Reminder that you will have B flats and E flats, lots of low ones, lots of low twos. Maybe go through this line, first measure, violins, circle that low two, G natural. Um, I, everybody needs to go through and circle or highlight or mark every single B in this because they are all B flats. All of them are B flats. So that's a low one for violin and viola. Or actually it might be a low two for viola if they have you doing this in a low register. So. Be careful if, if it's on the A string, it's a low one. If it's on the G string, it's a low two for that B flat. So go through, mark every single B flat. You don't want to get caught off guard by those, otherwise this will sound really wonky. Go through. Here, let's count and clap it together before we do anything else. And ready and go. Tay. One tay, two tay, three tay, four 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 tay. Off. So until you can do that correctly, don't go on. From there, pizzicato, shadow bow, arco. I'm gonna arco it for you. Make sure that you're using this section of the video as many times as you need to, to get it right. Tall, way up on your fingertips. And one, two, ready and go, Tay. So a couple small things to be aware of as you're practicing this and maybe review these and then go back and try them on your own. Um, we have a couple dynamic changes. So we start off at forte, so you need to be closer to the bridge here at the beginning. When we go to measure five, there's a pretty dramatic shift to piano. Get closer to the fingerboard, bow lane four, bow lane five. Use a little bit less bow. Make sure you're keeping the tempo consistent. And then we're back at forte for the last two measures. So get back to the bridge, add a little bit more weight, really bring that volume out. Play with confidence. And watch out in the last measure, make sure that your elbow is pivoting when you go to that G shoulder holders uh, and cellos. Otherwise, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.